Hi Scorpio, thank you for being here. It's L here to do your February 2021 general reading. Uh, thank you to the likes to, for the likes, the shares, the comments, the uh, subscriptions. Okay, so some of you, you can like draw in a blank with somebody here. Um, some of you feel like something is not equal or there's an inequality. I don't know. Um, interesting. Anyhow, thank you for being here. It, that energy disrupted my uh, my little intro that I give. So. Anyway, let's move on. All right, so Scorpio. Thank you for blessing the energy for Scorpio, Lord God. Bless Scorpio with the message. All right, so Scorpio. Um, let's see what's going on for you. What is the situation for Scorpio? The situation for Scorpio. Okay. Eight of Wands. All right, so yeah, it's like you could be communicating with someone. You're not face-to-face. Some of you are online dating. Some of you communicating about money, uh, the other person's money, something about mystery, something about uh, you just uh, don't know. Like there's an air of not knowing, uh, but something is off. That's how I felt in the beginning. Um, you may even be talking about the trouble and the jealousy within the relationship, whether it's an existing one or a past one. Uh, you may be talking about taxes, loans, inheritance, the sale of property, real estate, large sums of money. Uh, you may even be talking about sex and intimacy uh, or the lack thereof. There's a lot going on here in regards to um, you communicating and sharing. Some of you could be moving um, or traveling um, or you have a, you found somebody while you were traveling. Um, let's see, Scorpio. What's the advice for Scorpio here? Advice for Scorpio. Star card. All right, so it could be dealing with an Aquarian person. Um, the advice is to heal, rejuvenate, renew, reconcile. Now, that could be with the person or just reconcile, whatever. Um, you need to to if you if you're overflowing with emotions, you're not emotionally balanced. So you might need to have a positive outlet. Uh, maybe you need to go to counseling. Yeah, you need to practice some emotional balance here. Uh, you you might be flying off the handle, so there needs to be some healing. Once again, you need to talk to a professional, get a professional in there who can provide different exercise that you can do for yourself so that you can heal and be the best you. Um, it says get back on your path too. Uh, that's the advice here. Star card talks about being on the right path, being, you know, on the right direction or going in the right direction. Don't lose sight of who you are. People may look up to you. You look up to someone else. Maybe they can provide insight. That's the advice. What is the outcome if Scorpio takes the advice of the cards? What's the outcome? If Scorpio takes the advice of the cards. Outcome if Scorpio. Okay, two cards from the card. The King of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Okay, so um, if you take the advice of the cards, it looks like you'll be able to make a decision or someone's going to be able to make solid, grounded decisions around money, around uh, employment, their career, um, the division of assets of some sort. Um, and it'll be a decision that... Um, is best was close to best 
for all parties involved. Um, there might be hesitation before making this decision because of what has happened or transpired. But there will be um, groundedness, like an, uh, uh, an energy of, okay, we're on solid ground here because decisions have been made, things are in place. Um, also, some of you, if you take the advice of the cards and you get help for maybe some things going on or maybe reconciling, um, you can go through the grief process of what happened or what transpired. You can actually um, grieve the loss of or um, you can grieve the, the situation, the problems, the marriage, the love affair. Whatever happened here, you can move forward. Um, but then there needs to be a release of some energy. You might be bottling things up, go, trying to go it alone. This could be you, Scorpio, or somebody around you. Um, let's see. Let's get you some. Let's see what this is about. Some butterfly oracle cards in here. What is this about? The Scorpio. All right, so seeking and finding. Yeah, you're trying to find out something in terms of maybe the other person or other persons or money or. Where is something going? Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, if this person is stepping out on you, maybe you'll find out. Right, relationship dynamics. Like something has changed within the dynamic of this relationship. So you feel differently. The other person feels differently. Now there needs to be a clearing of the air. Look, there could be another party. Or there could just be someone just not. There's a disinterest or, uh, or a lack of. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but it looks like the dynamic of the relationship has changed. Maybe you are married. Now you won't be married. Let's see. Hobbies. Yeah, you need a positive outlet in terms of exercise. I said that in terms of um, maybe um, exercising some of, uh, some of that energy, some of those emotions that you have pent up. Some of you could be monetizing a hobby also. One more card from the Butterfly Oracle deck from my Scorpios. Okay, two cards came up. Parental care and welcome the new. Okay, so some of you, um, this could be you uh, talking about uh, the division of children or uh, how time is divided or talking about money that you need for children or needing to spend more time with your children or wanting to spend more time with, the, with your children. Welcome the new. The new might be this new way of existing, this new life for you. Um, you have to be true to you and put yourself first, too. Um, let's see what the monology cards have to say. Welcome the new. This could be a new business, new baby, new husband, new single life, new home, new anything. But you have to be welcome, okay? Um, you want you want a welcome change, you know? Yes, it's changed. It's not the same. But let's welcome it. Welcome the new. What's going on for Scorpio? Your dreams need a practical plan, right? You need to be a little bit more practical. Don't let your past hold you back. Yeah, you've got to deal with that. Um... Be sure to look up your south node and your north node. All right, let's see. Um, a personal issue reaches resolution. It looks like there's something going on with you. Nothing will come of this situation um, if you do not work through your fears. New Moon and Scorpio. Work through your fears or nothing will come of this situation. Um, your personal issues will reach a resolution. Let's see what your fortune is. For this month. Okay. 
Okay, what's the fortune for Scorpio? All right, the card just flipped out. Right, a new journey. You're going to go on a new journey. Uh, yeah. You're going to have some newness here. Um, this something may be ending. Maybe you were with someone for a very long time, 10 months, 10 years. But now that the journey is new, welcome the new. The journey looks like you might be going it alone. There's only one person in this car. He's getting on the train, you know, by himself. But he's welcoming this new change. Um, a message of concern could come in to you. We saw that with the Eight of Wands in the beginning. That's the issue. Message of concern. Something's changed within this dynamic. Um, let's see. Yeah, expectation. You could be expecting something. Expecting money to maybe move, move in a new pathway. Um, you you might be grieving something that happened or grieving a loss or the loss of relationship, person, place, or thing. Um, there might be a bit of despair here, but that's good because you grieve it and now you can move on. Um, Scorpio, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question. You can text your question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. Thank you, Scorpio. Have a really good month and happy Valentine's Day.